Hello budget people and welcome back to my channel. I'm She's on a Budget and today we're back for another video. In this video, I'll be stuffing my cash envelopes for week two of September. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in watching, stay tuned. Okay guys, so we are back for another video. I hope you are all well. Thank you for joining me on my channel. If you're new to my channel, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, so you are kept up to date with all of my latest videos, and I hope you enjoy the video. So the first thing that I'm going to do today is quickly fill in my cash totals card. I've really cleaned it and taken off last week's numbers. So I'm going to just fill that in now. We are doing something slightly different this week, guys. So I've listened to some of your advice and I've decided to stop filling certain cash envelopes just for this month. I'm going to see how it goes. So in week one, I stuffed all of my cash envelopes with the regular amounts, but this week we are only stuffing a few of them and I'm adding extra money into a couple of them. So you can see for car insurance, I've added an extra 30 pounds and you can see for my personal sinking fund, I've added an extra 20. The rest are getting the same and next week I'm probably going to change it again but I am going to start to focus on the cash envelopes that really, really do mean a lot to me for now, just so that I can try and bump them up. So car maintenance is getting 10, so I'm gonna have one 10 going there. We're putting 45 into car insurance, so I'm going to do two 20s and a five. And then we have Harley, who is getting five, and Jada and Nevaeh two, so that's one, two, three. And then we have 25, so another 20 and a five for my personal sinking fund. And then we have another five for Tyrese. So in total, we have got 30 pounds in fives. And we have got one 10 and three 20s. So that's 60 pounds. So in total, we are stuffing 100 pounds today. The reason why I'm able to stuff this amount this month is because we have extra money in our variable income. I've recently started to be able to go back into homes and tutor children so I'm able to do this this month. It may not be the same next month but you know I'm just taking each because it comes at the moment. So I'm just going to go to the bank and get this money. Okay guys so I am back and I'm just going to count my money. We've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 in fives. So that goes here. We have one 10 and 20, 40, 60 in 20s. Okay, so that goes here. And I just wanna quickly show you something, guys. So this has been a passion project of mine for some time. I have had to keep it under wraps for quite a while now, but I am happy to be able to tell you that I have set a release date for my kids' cash envelopes. So I just wanna quickly show you guys exactly what they look like. We have got a girl's version and a boy's version. I mean, you can pick whichever you fancy, but I have put them into separate categories. Before I start, all these envelopes do come with the option of having them hole punched just like they are in my binder. So we have this one here, which I've put bike, but you can have whatever label you would like. My first phone looks like this one my first computer, my first tablet. We've got a giving envelope for donations, time, and we've also got our books envelope. But again, as I said, you can change the labels to whatever you particularly like. And I just love this one in particular because it shows all these different superheroes. I have put this under a collection called Superhero Savers, and it just shows that no matter what color you are, no matter what gender you are, you can be a superhero, and they all encourage you to save money. So that is the promise for our children. We want to encourage them to be savers, just like us. So I decided to bring out a collection for them to have their own cash envelopes. So that is the girl's version. The boy's version is very similar. The colors are just slightly different, so we have my first tablet, my first phone, we've got a bike, we've got our books one, which again has all of the superhero savers on the front of it. We have a giving envelope and we have 
my first computer. So as I said, you can change the labels as much as you want. So yeah, those are the cash envelopes. And then we have also bought out some cash totals cards. You can pick whichever superhero saver you would like to have at the top. There's an option of four. So we've got our boys version and our girls version as well. But yeah, they've got their own cash totals cards as well, guys. And last but no means least, we also have some stickers. So as I said, this is coming under the collection called Superhero Savers. And one of our superheroes is talking about it's cash stuffing day. So like today, we have another one that's saying saving money is smart. And we have two that are saying I'm a superhero saver. So it kind of encourages that theme that saving money is really, really important. We've got the same for the boys. So I'm a superhero saver for these two. This one is saying it's cash stuffing day. And we also have another one saying saving money is smart. So yeah, guys, you can buy the cash envelopes individually if you like. I am offering a bundle as well six cash envelopes, two cash totals cards, and four sets of stickers. There is a bundle option for those things there. But yeah, these will all be released in my store on the 18th of September. So this coming Friday. And the fun doesn't actually stop there. To celebrate the release of Superhero Savers and also to celebrate reaching 2000 followers on Instagram, I have decided to give away two bundles, so two sets of bundles to two lucky followers. So guys, jump on that bandwagon. If you're not following me on Instagram, I'll leave my Instagram information at the bottom of the screen here. Follow me on Instagram, like the post. It says 2K giveaways on there and you'll then be entered into this really, really amazing giveaway and maybe get a chance to be one of the first people to have this awesome collection. I hope that wasn't too much information too quickly, but yeah guys, a lot of things are going on. So let's get started with our stuffing for today. We are using our pink Sharpie pen today. And yeah, let's do this. Okay, so first we have is allotment and we are not stuffing our allotment envelope. I do have 80 pounds in here, guys. I actually went in there this weekend we did some major pruning guys. So I've chopped down all of my bushes to start all over again, especially the summer berry bushes. So yeah, I, I don't really know what to do now with this money. I think I'm just gonna leave it in the envelope until maybe next year, but let me know what you think I should do. So I've got 20, 40, 60, 85. So 85, I thought it was 80. So even more money than I thought. So yeah, let me know what you think I should do with it. Do you think I should just save it? Or do you think I should maybe merge it into some other envelope? If so, which one? Okay, and then we have car tax next. Car tax, we are not putting any money in, but this is a bill for next year. We should have 75 in here, 20, 40, 60, 75. Yeah, we should have 75 in here. I will be stuffing this envelope next week, so it isn't due to be stuffed this week anyway. And yeah, we do need to save this money for the bill next year. Car maintenance is next and car maintenance is getting 10 pounds. So I'm gonna take out what is in there now. Add this 10 pound note here. And then add this to the list. So we've got Okay, so we should have 90 pounds here now. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, and that goes in here. Okay guys, so the other thing I wanted to tell you about car maintenance is that nearly two weeks ago, I got a ticket. So for those of you who are in another country, this isn't a speeding ticket or anything like that. This was a ticket because I entered an area when I was driving that I shouldn't have. It's called a boxed junction. If you remember last month, I went to visit family in London and it was around that time. And then I received the letter a couple of weeks ago. So I'm actually thinking of paying that penalty charge notice. That's what it's called with some of this money here. So my car maintenance money. So it was £120, guys. It's £120 and they're giving me 50% discount if I pay it within two weeks. So like, I cannot believe that they're charging me that amount of money for doing this. But anyway, um, I think the reason why is because a box junction, if there's a accident or an emergency that they need to get to, and if you're blocking the way, then, you know, it's really, really serious, I suppose. But 
obviously that wasn't the case at the time, but yeah, they just want to deter you from going into that box. But I've got 90 pounds in here. I'm thinking of using some or all of the money that I need to pay for that penalty charge notice from here. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm about 75% sure that I'm going to do it, but let me know what you think anyway. Okay, so car insurance is next, and car insurance we are adding 45. So I got these granddad notes, guys, from the bank and I'm not happy at all. So yeah, as you can see, these are like the older notes. These are the older British 20 pound notes and the difference between the two is like, it's startling, isn't it? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I'm probably just used to having the new notes now because I mean, still valued at the same amount of money, but don't you see the massive difference? This one looks really dirty and crinkly and that one looks nice and shiny. But anyway, so we're adding 45 pounds, it's still, worth the same amount of money, stop moaning. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. It's really crazy, the difference. So 45, that means that we're up to 740 pounds, guys. 740, that is amazing, I can't believe it. But yeah, we're getting there, we are definitely getting there. So yeah, that's that. And this fund is the main reason why I've decided to actually you know add more money because as you know i was panicking last month but we are able to sort it out this month hopefully so here goes 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 83 20 40 60 84 20 40 60 85 20 40 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 35, 40. Okay, so that goes in here. So 740 pounds in here. The goal is to get to just over a thousand pounds, but I think I'm gonna keep going even if we reached that thousand pound target. I'm gonna keep going until January, which is when my insurance is up for renewal. Okay, so gifts is next. So gifts, we are not adding any money to gifts, but I just wanna quickly show you what we have in here. So we should have 22 pounds and we do. So 22 pounds is in here. I will be adding some money to this next week though, because as I said, we don't have any gifts this month, but I still want to add some money to this envelope to make sure that we have enough to cover us next month. And then Harley is next. So Harley, we are adding in five. So we're adding five to Harley. And I think this is the last time I'm adding money into Harley's envelope for the month because we are up to 100 pounds and yeah, as I said to you last week, that should be enough to cover her for two grooms. Um, so yeah, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 500. Yeah, we didn't give her a groom this month because of timing and the appointment being canceled and stuff like that. But yeah, next month I may give her one because her hair is getting a little bit longer now and I want to make sure that I keep it at a certain length. We'll still have enough for another one even after that. So yeah, I will probably start stuffing that again in October, um, but we'll see how things go. So next we have Jada, and Jada we are adding in five, so five for Jada. And yeah, the kids' envelopes are staying the same. I'm still going to be putting in the same amount of money into their envelopes. So we should have 150 pounds in here. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 45, 50. And that's all for hers. And then we have Nevea next. Nevea, we are adding in five. So we've got five here. And yeah, last week when I was talking about Nevea and her birthday, guys, I was dying to say, some of the ideas that I think about for children's birthdays. So we should have 210 in here now. And yeah, I think it's just really hard, especially when they get to like a certain age group. 
things like the kids cash envelopes that I have now they're just ideal gifts because I feel that we don't stress how important finances are with our children some of us are really really good at it I'm trying my best to do as good as I can now but that's only because I've recently started this journey before that I didn't have a clue so now I see the importance of it and understand the errors of my ways I'm trying to make sure that my children have a better start but yeah there are so many other people out there who haven't got the tools to help their children and I just hope that you know giving these type of gifts so cash envelopes stickers and cash totals cards they will make this kind of financial journey for them a little bit more interesting I know you guys enjoy my cash stuffing videos so much and I know that they will probably enjoy doing the same thing as well. So we should have 210 pounds in here. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 5, 10. So yeah, we should be at 240 by her birthday, which she reminded me last week and told me that we are eight weeks away from it, guys, eight weeks. So yeah it's not far at all personal sinking fund is getting 25 we only have 10 pounds in there so i'm going to put 20 and a five in here and yeah i just want to try and get this back up again so we should have 20 10 and a five so 35 all together and that goes in here and then we have Tyrese next and Tyrese is going to be getting five our last five goes to him and so 20 40 60 81 5 10 and that goes in here Okay, so our water bill is next and we should have in here 115 pounds. I told you last week that I think I'd put a little bit more money in there than I needed to. So this week I am not stuffing it, nor will I be stuffing it next week. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 15. So yeah, we've put some money in at the beginning of the month and we're gonna miss two weeks and then we'll start putting money back in here to make sure that we have enough for this bill. The last one we have is canoeing and canoeing. I put 500 pounds in here last week. So this is just a money check. I haven't had to take out any money from this so far. My daughter has said to me though that she does need to buy some kit. So um, I may be taking some money out of it very soon, but we haven't seen the particular kit that she wants yet. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85. So that is all still there. Yeah, so she hasn't seen the particular kit that she wants yet, but we probably will be taking out some of this money to pay for that. And you'll just start to see, guys, how expensive this sport is. I mean, she wants something called a deck. It's just basically to keep her inside the canoe so, you know, to stop water from entering the canoe, as well as to keep her nice and secure in the boat. And they start at 130 pounds or 140 pounds, something like that. So yeah, you will see how, even though we have quite a lot of money in here, how easily it can be swallowed up by this sport. But that's what it's here for. So I am grateful, I'm not complaining at all. But yeah, that is all done. Okay guys, so that is all from me today. I really, really do hope that you enjoyed this video. Please do not forget the giveaway has started. So entries are open. They do close on the 18th of September. So this Friday, if you want to be in with a chance, my new release of kids cash envelopes, then be sure to head over to my Instagram page and comment, like, follow, all of that jazz so that you're in with a chance to win. If you just wanna support my channel and you want to purchase this amazing gift for somebody, 
then please go over to my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below. Go over to my Etsy shop, favorite the page so that you are up to date and kept notified of when this amazing release is going to drop. The release date is the 18th of September. So just so that you are notified straight away when it is available to purchase, make sure you go over to the Etsy page and favorite the shop today okay guys so i hope this video was interesting please not forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you found it to be please not forget to hit like comment and subscribe and i'll speak to you in the next one have a good day